Bakersfield had its own music of the soil that came out of the, the grape vineyards and the uh, peach orchards and cotton fields of, of uh, the San Joaquin Valley. And the music that came forth was, was, was as pure as it could be because it was real. something I couldn't find anywhere else but I don't want to be nobody just want a chance to be myself I've done a thousand miles of thumbing guess I've worn blisters on my heels trying to find me something better on the streets of Bakersfield. I stopped at a road house in Texas, a little place called Hamburger Dance. I heard that old jukebox start playing, a song called Truck Driving Man. You know, speaking of truck drivers, we get a bunch of them through Bakersfield, because it's, it's known for its agriculture, the cotton, the oil, and especially country music. Hey, I hope you'll come to see me in my movie Then I know that you're gonna play the scene The biggest fool ever hit the big time And all I gotta do is act naturally It's a honky-tonk sound. It's a sound, though, that is unique and, and to California. But, you know, it wasn't necessarily the Bakersfield sound. It seems like everywhere I went in California, it would, all the sounds was approximately the same. Hey, baby. Yes? Don't you think we ought to stop and rest a little bit? I ain't tired, Fred. Well, you know, my old horse is getting kind of tired. And I know we, that. We don't want to wear out your brand new saddle. Listen to the cricket singing. I never heard. A sweeter sound. Do you know that crickets Father make their away. music <laughs> by just playing their legs around? You can pat your foot to it, you can dance to it, you can enjoy it and laugh and live a little. See, that's the feeling you get when you go to visit a band in the Baker's, where you got the Bakersfield sound. It's a different sound to what you get out of Nashville. All and back together. there, all together different. And uh, it's got more get up and go about it. It's got more, uh, it's, it's not trying to be so professional that uh, you take the life out of it. We don't smoke marijuana in the smoke. We don't take no trips on LSD. And we don't burn no drive cards down on Main Street. But we like living right, being free. My music came out of that same soil that uh, John Steinbeck's Rape's Wrath came from, and that's, that's who I am. I'm proud to be an old hit from the Stogie. A place where even square can have a ball. We still wave old glory down at the courthouse. And why light is still the biggest thrill of all. You know, when America first started, it was a melting pot. Well, that's what California is to the United States, back in the 30s, at least, when all these, this migration started. And most of those folks were country people. They all just came, migrated out here. Most of them, I would say, wound up here in Bakersfield. You see this here dirt? 
That's called brown gold. All the folks who came out here in the early 30s and late 20s in what they called the, the migration to California, this is what brought them, this and, and yellow gold. They come looking for the yellow, they found the brown. Mama had always read these books, these Western novels, you know, about California, the West, the Golden West, and where you can go and just reach up and pick gold off trees. And she believed that. And so she was going to go to California, where you could reach up and pick gold off trees. When we got to California, she learned that the gold that was on them trees was the fruits of the San Joaquin Valley. My drifting memory goes back to the spring of 43, when I was just a child in Mama's arms. My daddy plowed the ground and prayed someday he could leave this fun-down mortgage to Oklahoma Farm. sit around in the uh, the migrant camps after picking cotton all day long. Of course, I didn't pick cotton. I would, I played off on the fact that I was the only girl and I was too little and skinny. So I'd let Mama get her sack about half full and I'd go get on it and let her pull me through the fields all day long. <laughs> but I didn't have to pick cotton because I was too little. I was forever just singing to the top of my lungs just as loud as I could. And uh, Ma, I can still hear Mama saying, would you get out of here and go sing to your daddy? I'm tired of hearing you. <laughs> and uh, Fred, he hated work, as he called it. And uh, he decided one day that uh, he, we should get a band together because we sat around the campfire the fires at night and played and entertained everybody. I knew Cliff and Cal could play because they'd played together that night at where we'd camped at this on this farm where all the cotton pickers had come in, you know. I'm a thinking, let's go back to Modesto. We'll start the band and I'll be the manager. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll get on the radio. So they said that's a good idea but you got to have a girl singer. I said, we got a girl singer. <laughs> I didn't know we did have, but I said, we got one, but you could hear her 10 miles of singing at home, Rose and Vice Edition, you could hear her just bellering out them songs. <laughs> I said, we got a girl singer. And I said, I had seen a guy, you know, Archie Stark's band, yeah. the one that had the bass fiddle. Yeah. I'd seen him playing a bass fiddle, and I wanted one of them. And I didn't know if I could play a bass fiddle or not, but I knew I had to. So Cal and Cliff tuned it the day it come in. And, and somebody else is still tuning it for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> that's the reason I have to have it. I can't tune it. I know when it's out. But I started slapping it on the radio the day I got it. Been a slapping the heck out of it ever since. <laughs> Radio Land, and welcome to KCHJ, ladies and gentlemen, for the Barn Dance Show, with special guest star, Miss Rose Maddox, also Mr. Roy Nichols, playing lead guitar, Mr. Bobby Joe, playing bass, 
Mr. Fred Maddox right here, another star, Ben Dolapin star. Fred Maddox, get it to All right, and welcome to the Barn Dance Show at KCHJ Radio. Ladies Hello and gentlemen. Hello there. How are you? I'm happy every day I live. These nights are killing me, though. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah Let me in are. on it. Wow. <laughs> well, I, I was waiting for you to say, well, what about old Fred? Yeah, what about old Fred? <laughs> I hear you got them lined up for tonight, though, Fred. Oh, boy, have I ever. <laughs> have you? <laughs> Give me an acorn. I played around and played around this old town too long. Summer's almost gone, yeah, winter's coming on. I played around and played around this old town too long. And I feel like I gotta travel along. Well, Papa rides to Johnny. Johnny can't come home. Johnny can't come home. No, Johnny can't come home. Papa rides to Johnny. Johnny can't come home. Cause he's been out in Reno too long. Around this old town too long. Summer's almost gone, yeah, winter's coming on. I played around and played around this old town too long, and I feel like I gotta travel on. Pick it, Roy! Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, the great Roy Nichols. And the police coming after me, coming after me, yeah, riding after me. The high sheriff and the police coming after me, and I feel like I gotta travel along. Well, I laid around and played around this old town too long. Summer's almost gone, yeah, winter's coming on. I laid around and played around this old town too long, and I feel like I gotta travel along. Once again, I'd like to say thanks to Rose and Fred. So until next Saturday for the barn dance, this is Billy saying adios. <laughs> started making music uh, because my uncles did. My mother played the piano in the churches where we went. And uh, uh, I just started playing music like that. And I, I loved the music. I always loved the sounds. I loved the bluegrass. Uh, and I loved the, uh, the gospel sounds. And, and I, that's, uh, that's really why I, I originally started doing it. And then uh, later on, I, I continued to do it because uh, uh, I thought it might be a way of making a living and getting out of the cotton fields. I hear bells ringing, I hear birds singing. Love's gonna live here again. And I hear bees humming, and I know the days are coming. Love's gonna live here again. You know, 
know, the biggest driving force for me, I think, was I hated being poor. I hated wearing pasteboard in my shoes and twine or shoestrings, and, and I hated wearing hand-me-downs. And I remember as a little kid thinking, boy, when I get big, I ain't never going to be poor again. A lot of times when you're picking cotton, I worked with the Mexicans and I worked with the blacks. Sometimes the Mexicans would be over here and we all kind of ganged up together, you know, I mean, but you, still you had the Mexicans would be picking cotton over here and sometimes they'd be singing and a great Mexican harmony that they sang. And over here, the blacks would be singing, they sang mostly blues and, um, and gospel songs. And you know, you hear all that and, and here you are a kid and, you, and you're, you're looking at all that. And, but they had humor, they, they laughed, we laughed. Everybody, I think you had to have fun things. Um, uh, and I think we poked fun at ourselves. Uh, I think that, I think we laughed at ourselves to, because we really didn't want to address the fact uh, how hard the work was and how little we got for it. Hey, you, you want to have some fun? Yeah. Well, I'll play for you to dance a few. Would you, why do you think, uh, and then the ones that don't want to dance can just sit close together. What do you think? You want to do that? All right. I've got a tiger by the table it's plain to see. I won't be much when you get through with me. I'm a losing weight and a turning by the pale. Looks like i got a tiger by the tail. I love the sound. I, I think it's a it's a different sound. It's an unpolished, give them hell, straight ahead, no BS about it. It's uh, it's music. It's my music. It's what I do and it's what I love. Well now every night you drag me where the bright lights are found. There ain't no way to slow you down. And I'm about as helpless as a leaf in a gale. And it looks like I got a tiger by the tail. I've got a tiger by the tail, it's plain to see. I won't be much when you get through with me. I'm a losing weight and turning by the pail. Looks like I got a tiger by the tail. about the way things ought to be. I don't mind them switching sides and standing up for things they believe in. When they're running down our country, man, they're walking on the fighting side of me. My own music came from a need to have something to sing. I had to have something to say. I had to have something to sing. I had to have something to identify in some, some way in music to tell people that were listening to me who I was. 
If you don't love it, leave it, let the song I'm singing be warning. When you're running down our country hearts, you're walking on the right side of me. My problem was I, I, I guess I grew up, I thought I grew up too fast. And, uh, I didn't want to go to school, I wanted to go to work. I wanted, and they wouldn't let me, and I wound up being thrown in jail because I wouldn't go to school. And then I, I would break out of these little juvenile road camps and run off and wind up stealing cars. And when I was 19 years old, I really messed up, but I don't like to talk about it. But anyway, in that process of all of that, somehow or another, music seemed to be the only way out of the whole, um, rut that I had been born into. I had been born into a uh, period of struggling uh, Americans who uh, had just kind of like wiggled their way out of a Great Depression and into a, a period of some sort of security they found in the, in the, in the valley there and, and, and the music that came forth was, was, was as pure as it could be because it was real. First thing I remember knowing was the lonesome whistle blowing and a young and stream of growing up to the right. On a freight train leaving town, not knowing where I'm bound, no one could change my mind but Mama tried. The one and only rebel child from a family meek and mild, my mama seemed to know what land store. It's about all my Sunday learning. The word to bad, I kept on turning till mama could not hold me anymore. I turned 21 in prison, do I fly without parole? What will steer me right, but mama tried, mama tried, mama tried to raise me better. But pleading I denied, and leaves on to be flame, cause mama tried. The grapes of wrath, the thing they found it was actually filmed in and around a place called Hilltop. Well, that's where I was actually raised, between there and Oildale, and my cousins and aunts and uncles were strung out between Oildale and Weed Patch, and they were living right in the exact spot where the Grapes of Wrath was filmed. And, and out in front of these old tents and half canvas-covered cabins and things of that nature, you know, you'd hear a guitar once in a while. Uh, my dad and grandpa's would have on Saturday night, been, uh, if they'd had a little band, they'd have went to somebody's house and played in the living room, you know, and left the doors open, and the kids would be sleeping in the halls, and they played till daylight, you know, and that was, that was a dance in those days. And then they went to the schoolhouse, and the schoolhouse, they built the old place out, the old barn dance, you know, with the barn, and then it uh, evolved into what we know it to be now. I think what happened is those places like uh, Lamont, California, Arvin, California, popped up out of the, the grape vineyards, uh, the places where these migrated people lived. Uh, there was beer joints that came up out of there, and, and those little beer joints had little bands, and, and and the kids, probably the kids of these people that came out, wound up in these little beer joints like I did. Uh, and uh, getting to hear yourself on a microphone for the first time, you know. And back in those days, you know, the most desired thing in the world was just to be able to uh, sing over a, one of those old Shure 55s, you know. And one of those square jobs, you know. Boy, they sounded good. Go back a few years, one called a working man blues. Looks like it is right here. Blues. Well, I keep my nose 
on the grindstone, work hard every day. Might get a little tired on the weekend after I draw my pay, but I go back working. Come Monday morning, I'm right back with the crew. Drink a little beer that evening and then sing a little bit of this working man blues. Yeah. Well, sometimes I think I leave and a little bumping around. Some of you got the window, can't change in another town, but I go back working, man. Come Monday morning, I'm right back with the crew. Drink my beer in a tavern and then sing a little bit of these work in I think that it was inevitable that I was to be a singer because I never did want to be a singer. And even even after I was in music and it had a lot of people uh, let me know they liked my singing, and every time they'd ask me to sing a song, somebody in, in else in the band would I'd say, hey man, I was hired to play guitar. You sang the song, uh, was my attitude. And uh, you know, they finally get me up there to sing, but I really didn't want to sing. And, I, and it, it was something I took as, Took for granted. Well, hey, hey, the working man, the working man like me. Never been on welfare, and that's one place he won't be. He'd be working, honey, as long as his two hands are fit to you. Drink a little beer in a tavern, and then sing a little bit of this working man blue. It's such a pretty world today. I look at the sunshine. Da -da 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 -da. And every day is the same since I met you. I was born in Oklahoma. You fall Oklahoma. And uh, things got so bad back there, I said, there's bound to be another way to make a living. And a friend I knew was coming out here. He said, you can ride with me. It won't cost you nothing. Which was lucky because I didn't have nothing. So I got in there with him, and we came to Bakersfield in uh, 1957, and I've been here ever since, playing music. I'm a cooking these taters, got an old slouch hat, and I'm a telling you something, you ain't gonna like that. Yeah, you're gonna love this, boy, I'm telling you. The only place you can get these is you fall Oklahoma. And that's a long way from Bakersfield. Okay, we'll get them little jabbies right in there. Fried potatoes, they're always on my mind. Fried potatoes, I eat them all the time. I love them in the morning, I love them late at night. I never eat fried chicken when potatoes are inside. All of your more sophisticated upper class, so-called upper class people, looked down their noses at us. And uh, when we went into the music business, they also still looked down at them Okies trying to sing. Playing that Okie music. Playing that Okie music, you know. But you would hear them, you'd, you could always tell that they had their radios on or they wouldn't have known anything about it in the first place. Listen to that, yet they'd look down their noses at you because you was an Okie. They called my father uh, uh, Okie, uh, and they called him Okie like he would call a black man a nigger. Are you tagging the wop? you know? Wasn't sometimes all that friendly when they said it. But that still was his nickname. That's what they called him. And uh, so 
the song Okie from Muskogee uh, is about him. There was a lot of intolerance, I think, as much like there is uh, for the Hispanic in some parts of the country here today. Uh, we did the, the, uh, the hard work, the, the, uh, and, but, you know, we're not the only people that ever felt intolerance. Uh, I, I think everybody that's uh, ever amounted to anything had, has felt some. If they haven't, they've missed something. Now take a plate of vegetables with collards and tomatoes. Don't that sound good, but better still, just add some fried potatoes. Fried potatoes, they're always on my mind. Fried potatoes, I eat them all the time. I love them in the morning, I love them late at night. I never eat fried chicken when potatoes are inside. The great Fred Maddox and Rose here. Oh, yeah, the uh, great Fred Maddox. Show. Yeah, just like, the bottom, it. just like the bottom of an old stove. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is what the bands had to put up with that worked in the lucky spot. These freight trains coming through all night long, making all that racket, but the people never paid any attention to them. One, two, three, four. I left Oklahoma driving in a Pontiac, just about to lose my mind. I was going to Arizona, maybe on to California, where the people all live so fine. The people that came out to the clubs in those days were well, just like they are today, mostly they were just hard-working people, you know, they wanted something to do. And uh, they'd come out and just come out and have a good time, what we were doing. They were, uh, they were all looking for a good time, and the bands tried to, tried to furnish that.